previously on UNO. Thanks to that plus eight, I get to play the new card. What does it do? Yeah, it looks interesting. Come now. What the fuck? You're the only me? monkey here. You fucking racist prick. Ha! Guess who just fucking won? Damn it. Me, bitch me, the Donnymeister. We need to fucking spell it out, George. Keck! It's time for a triple whammy. No way! Bitches! Jesus Christ, another one. That's fucking impossible. You guys hear about Donald's arrest? Yeah, I did hear about that recently. For all his preaching about making America great again, he is constantly getting into trouble and getting arrested at the same time. What an idiot. And you're any better? Yeah, you're lucky you haven't been impeached yourself with all the fucked up shit you've done, Joe. Man, fuck you guys. Hey, yo guys, I just got back. Where were you, Donnie? I got some food. Oh my God, shut the hell up. Sorry, sorry. Donnie, are you eating more McDonald's right now? Maybe. Are you serious? You fat fuck. Yo, it's not my fault. Those secret service pricks heard us earlier and thought I needed more food. Not that. I'm complaining, though. Holy shit, of course it isn't a problem. Shut up. If you don't mute in the next five seconds, the only thing you're going to eat is my fist down your throat. Okay, okay, calm down there, Mike Tyson. You have been kind of aggressive today, Obama. Didn't you hear what this inflated balloon said earlier? Yeah, we were all there, Obama. Anyway, did any of you guys hear about the recent Activision drama? Yeah, heard they got a security issue and it sucks. That's half the issue, actually. They took down SM2. Ain't no fucking way, you serious? I was waiting for SM2 to be completed. Those retards over at Activision seriously need a management change. All they do is ruin the community with trash security and crappy takes. Yeah, SM2 would have been a way for everyone to play safe from all those modders and shit. It would have been great if we could all play again without those guys always trying to enter our lobbies and ruining everything. That's wild, Joe, given that you always bottom frag every time we play Cold War multiplayer. That's true. 100% agree. All right, fuck all of you guys. We aren't even playing Call of Duty right now. Let's start up this next game already. Well, this looks good. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm loving the Viking theme already. I knew you would, Donnie. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't wait to start attacking you fuckers, especially you, Joe. Bro, what is that? Ha. Ah, the game is already giving me a hand. Nice. Honestly, what the fuck is that? Of course, you choose me, Joe. This game couldn't be any more rigged. The hand sucked, so I don't care about taking it back, but I'll be using this. Wow, Donnie. Ha, ah, Donnie already laying down the heat. Nope. Here you go, George. Bruh. You got stacked, George. Do you think I'm retarded, Obama? This is the start of the game. Ain't no way you don't have that color. Well, it was worth a shot. Try better next time, bud. Well, you're still drawing four cards. Don't act like you slid out of that. Better than getting eight stacked. So what's the deal with the numbers in the middle of the board? Whatever number you play is where you end up on the board. So if I play this plus two, then... You think you're pretty funny, Joe, don't you? Not happening, I'll just slide that over to you, Obama. Damn, another plus four. Why didn't I go to two on the board? Because dumbass plus twos and plus fours don't count. Plus cards aren't actual numbers, moron. Okay, well then if I play an actual two, then it should work, right? Oh, cool, it did. Okay, well what does the rest of the shit I see do? The flag gives you random benefits, sometimes okay, and other times broken as shit. The treasure chests give you those points you all see underneath your icons. Yeah, I see that. So what does the axe and ship do? The axe makes it so you can attack a player. There's no limit to the number of times you can attack, but it uses up your entire turn. The ship is the most broken fucking thing ever. It makes you dump the color that you just played. So if you had five red cards, once you play a red, you'll dump all Damn your George, red cards along with it. Dude, that's fucking awesome. So I need that axe to attack you guys. This is going to be glorious. Somehow I regret telling you. Too late now, bro. Are you fucking serious? Kick! Nice one, George. Oh my god, fuck off, Donnie. I can't lie, you do get skipped a lot in these games. Yeah, no shit. Ah, damn you, Obama. I hate having to draw. Not my problem, Donnie. Of course. It's interesting now because I have to basically think about which number I want to play now because of the middle of the board. What, Joe? You need to think? Think? You mean you don't think about how you're going to properly run this country? Screw off, little piggy. What the fuck did you just call me? Oh, Donnie, you heard me. You're nothing more than a piggy. A little whittle, 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 whittle piggy. Bro, Joe, what the fuck? Ah, shit, here we go again. I swear to God, if you ever say that shit again, I will fucking kill you. Careful, guys, Joe has the axe now. Yeah, and so do I. Yo, Donnie, get ready to defend your bitch ass. Bring it on, bitch. So you press the battle button and get to choose anyone to attack. That's awesome. Come on, let's do this, Obama. I don't think you know what is going to happen, Donnie. I forgot to mention something, but I'll let fate take its course. What? What the fuck was that? That was just what I expected would happen. Okay, George, what the hell does any of that even mean? The attacker has the biggest advantage because they get to choose oh a God, color Donnie. that the defender must match. If you don't, you lose. 
which 90% of the time well, always happens because it's pure luck or foresight to know what the attacker is going to pick. Well, that's both kind of lame and kind of awesome. Awesome for when I get to beat all of your asses into the dirt. Yeah, sure, whatever you say, Donnie. Oh, just you wait, I'll have an axe soon. Also, Joe, play a fucking card. Chill, dude, I'm just weighing my options here. Wait, shit, I could have used a red two and gotten that treasure chest. Fuck, God damn it! did you have to make it blue? Bro, I need blue. Oh, whoa, holy shit, that's overpowered. Did I read that right? Um, this isn't good. Dude, what the hell just happened to Obama's hand? Holy crap, he just discarded his entire hand in one move. Ha! I got Uno now, literally one step away from winning. Fuck, I can't do shit about this guy. Don't you dare! I can't do At anything. Least try. Ha! I win. Nah, this is complete bullshit. Ain't no way Obama just won that before I even got to battle anyone. I told you the flag gave out absurd benefits. He just discarded all the odd numbers from his hand and look where it landed him. I'll admit I wasn't expecting to win when I played that card and chose the flag's location, but damn, that shit ended so quickly before it even began. Yeah, that match was at best like two minutes long. I don't accept that defeat. Ha! Sore loser. Nah, I agree. I don't either. That match was way too short for me. I vote for another round, even though the original bet was on Joe's head. I don't count this round. Dude, seriously, George, we all were just complaining about how Joe won the last game. Fuck that, Obama. I don't accept either. Dude, Donnie, chill out. It sounds like you're about to cry or something. You wish. We are doing a rematch. We all voted for it. You don't get to say shit. Fine, but I'm going to do everything in my power to win again. Sure, sure, bud. Sure, sure. This game better last longer than two minutes, and this time I better get the chance to actually use the features. Oh my god, the first hand and I'm forced to draw. Oh hey, thank god. And, and I'll take that treasure. I'm going to definitely build towards getting that axe as soon as possible. I'm not taking any chances this time. Well, Joe, you aren't the only one that has to draw on the first hand, but suck on this. Well, I can't say I'm angry that you played that since it was drawn. However, I got a plan, so I'll challenge it. A plan? Whoa, guys, did you hear that? Joe says he has a plan. He is planning. What a fucking miracle. But also, if Joe says he is planning something, that means it must be shady as fuck. We cannot allow that to continue no matter what. And so you plus four me, Donnie? Fuck you. Okay, well, I had no choice there. Oh my god, how useless. None of you even have any cargo, so this potentially good roll is just trash. Whatever. Sounds like if someone had four cargo points, then what, you would get four as well? Precisely, that's exactly what benefit that roll has. How many cards have you got, Joe? You give me a plus two? Seriously. Oh yeah, no, I just did that on purpose, Donnie, obviously. You suck. Okay, so where do I want to go here? It's always a task and a half to figure out where I am capable of going that would benefit nah, me. Nah, that's not true. It's just your dementia brain can't process what the fuck is happening in front of you. We all can see where we need to go. You don't. Oh my God, seriously? What was that, Donnie? Did you say something? I wasn't paying attention over the sound of those two cards shutting that mouth of yours. I'm not about to take that. No fucking way. For the love of God, please give me something good. Fuck, that's useless. One card, whipty fucking do. Yeah, so far the flag RNG has been ass. Both times it has given good rolls, but only if you or others have half or more cargo. Joe, you son of a bitch, how dare you plus two me again? Whoa there, Donnie, chill. Nah, this hand is garbage. Eat shit and give me your hand, Obama. Well, that's not good. This is an interesting hand you got here, Joe. Nah, not really. I got a lot of cards. That's not a good hand. You had a lot of cards. And honestly, the way you say it makes it shady as fuck. You got two wild cards here. You weren't thinking of doing what I think you were gonna do, were you? I have no idea what you're talking about, uh -huh, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I know this tactic all too well. It's the most effective one, but given that your plan is ruined, who cares, eh? Just shut up and take this skip, bro. What's this tactic you're being vague about, George? What was Joe planning? It's simple, but wild cards can be played no matter what the pile is. So, logically, most players will hold on to wild cards until they have an effective number of them. Then, once they only have wild cards left, they don't need to worry about the color of the pile they can play until they win. I'm just assuming, but that's probably what Joe nope, was doing. No, you're wrong, but thanks for the information anyway, and get skipped, loser. Dude, Joe, your aggression in this situation is all the more reason that that was exactly what you were planning. Ignoring that bullshit plus two, Obama. Yeah, I agree. Joe, you're being sus as fuck right now. I say we keep an eye on Joe's hand this entire game so he can't play that shit. Agreed. Yep, I agree as well. You bozos are wrong. I had no idea what that tactic was. You always call me stupid and shit, yet now you're thinking I'm the world's greatest Uno player. Ain't no way we are thinking that. But I will say that such a tactic is exactly the kind of thing you would string up in the background just like the election. Oh my god, holy shit. Anyway, no, I don't think so. You guys are giving me way too much credit for some random nonsense I never even thought about. 
Keep preaching, Joe. No one here is believing you. Obama, I hate you. Ha 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 ha. Chill, chill. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, I will have that axe now, you fuckers. Great. Get ready to be attacked by Donnie constantly, guys. So we need to match the color with the attacker as a defender, right? Yeah, basically. There is another method, but that's the basis of it. I guess I better prepare to be attacked as well. Yes, this is good. With this, Donnie, you won't get to attack anyone. You motherfucker. How dare you just steal my cargo like that right after I got enough to attack you, bastard. Damn! No, no, not a fucking plus four. That's exactly right, Donnie. Yet another plus four for you, bud. Damn, Donnie. You just got spit-roasted from both sides. Yikes. Seriously, Obama? Can you not phrase it in that way? I'm just saying it as I see it, man. You got your cargo stolen by George and then your hand destroyed by Joe? You got your shit rocked, bro. Yo, Obama, that was pretty lit. I mean, I wasn't trying to make it sound catchy or anything. Screw that but... nonsense. I'm gonna skip you harder than I skipped over 6ix9ine. Dude, I don't care about that bozo. That guy is ranchy as fuck. Well, then you won't mind if I skip you again. Dude, what is all of this? You guys just laying out constant skips. I think it's time for a battle, don't you? And Obama, you're the only one worth battling, so let's do this. Dude, George, Joe literally has an axe. Oh, well. Bring it on. That's my line, bro. Well, fuck. Nice try, though. Attackers really do have a major advantage, like... You're literally guessing what they chose. Joe, if I remember correctly, you should have a few skips. Use them. Nah, I got a better idea. Oh shit. This isn't good, guys. Joe has full cargo. That means he can start throwing out bundles of cards with matching colors. Great, just what we needed. Joe with the power to win again. On a scale of 1 to 10, how broken is the ship? 10. Well, damn, that broken, eh? Well, then we need to stop him. You know, George, it's your fault Joe has the cargo at all. You could have fought him instead of Obama. Sure, I could have, but that wouldn't have made a difference. Joe landed on the flag that gave him cargo proportional to the number of matching colors. He would have gotten four cargo regardless. Well, damn, you're right. Sorry, George, but I don't think you need that cargo anymore. Ha! Joe, you moron. You can't use a wild card to win as an attacker. Wait, what the fuck? Seriously? Leave it to Joe to lose the fight where the attacker has a 90% chance of winning based on RNG. You suck, dude. I'll admit that using a wild card might seem like a genius play, but as an attacker, it literally does nothing but make sure you lose. My god, why do I always draw so many goddamn cards? I'd chalk it up to bad luck. Yo, holy shit, I'm guessing that's the cargo ship at work there. You literally just dump all of the same color. Donnie, you should check Joe's hand. Ah, shit, whoops, I really wanted Obama's hand, though. I'll try next time, George. Mm, I'm suspicious of Joe's hand right now. He is currently sitting on a wild card. I know because he just used it on me in that battle. Dude, Obama, why the hell are you choosing me instead of Joe? Oh, shit, you're right. Dude, how fucking deaf are you? Joe has been acting strange this entire time. Like, pay attention. Well, that sucks. Yeah, no way I'm letting you win this time. Joe, you haven't been saying anything for a while. Now, I'm definitely suspicious of whatever it is you're doing over there. I'm not doing anything. I'm just making sure I land on the right number I want. Mm, that's Cap. You literally can't lie like you can't. Whatever it is you just said was a big fat fucking lie. You won't win, Donnie. How do you know that? Because he has a wild card. But I thought it doesn't work. As an attacker, it doesn't. But as a defender, wild cards block everything. Wait, really? Oh, my God. You all haven't been paying attention here. Every time you defend in this mode, the game literally tells you this. No. Fuck. Holy fuck, guys. Sleepy fucking Joe over here was literally sitting on three fucking wild cards. You, are you serious? I fucking knew it. Joe was trying to pull the most common tactic ever. Bro, George, I have the fucking god hand. Why even fucking bother, bro? Yeah, well, it does seem pointless now that I think about it. You mean my god hand, Donnie. I will be getting that back. Unlikely, Joe. My hand doesn't have any sevens. So unless you have the greatest luck this world has ever seen, you won't get that hand back. Ha! Exactly. It's automatically my victory. I fucking win! With the god hand literally in hand, I'm literally about to win! Oh, we will definitely see about that, Donnie. There's no way you're going to win. Fuck. Dude, Donnie, screw you. I only got wild cards, fucking retard. Or have you already forgotten that this was originally your hand? I haven't forgotten, bitch. Damn it, George. I don't like what you're planning, Joe, and I ain't about to let it happen either. You're still sus somehow. There's no way he is taking his hand back right before I'm about to win. That would be a fucking miracle! Yeah, that would be the biggest miracle ever. Trust me, I will get that hand back. There's no way you're this confident in getting your hand back, Joe. Also, George, what the fuck are you doing? You know I'm literally in God mode. You can't do shit to me. Who knows, maybe you lied and Joe only had two wild cards. It's better to be safe than sorry, plus... This will be the last battle we will have. Well, there you have it, George. You lost and I won, as to be expected. Well, Joe, this will be the last time you get to play a card. Better make it count.
No way. What? Bullshit. It's rigged. There's no way. Joe just pulled that fucking seven out of his ass like that. How? I told you, Donnie. I told you I would get this hand back, and I did. What kind of bullshit-ass luck could you possibly have had for you to draw a seven and then get that hand back? Who knows, but also, Donnie, what the fuck are you doing? You know I'm literally in God mode. You can't do shit to me. Oh, how funny. Using my own line against me. Go fuck yourself, Joe. Can we somehow stop this? Is there any way to stop, Joe? It's impossible. We can't battle him because he only has a wild card, which is virtually impossible to win against. It was fun game, guys, but guess who wins again? Me. Well, now that I won the two times out of three, perhaps you wish to tell me that I am the best president ever, right, Obama? This sucks. I can't believe we have been beaten by Joe twice in this goddamn game. Skill issue, boys, skill issue. Ain't no way you're calling your pure luck a skill right now. You crusty dustpan. There was no fucking skill, only luck. It was skill, Donnie. I had the skill to deceive you fuckers the entire time. The only reason things ended up this way was because Obama had to go and throw in a fucking zero. If that never happened, I would have kept my hand until the very end. Wrong. I knew something was up with you, Joe. Right after I discovered you were carrying around wild cards for no other reason than to have them. No one does that unless they are planning to do something with them outside their intended use. Sure, you may have been wary of me after that moment, but you were too late to do anything about it until Obama's zero was played. If that had never happened, I'd have won with no issue, but instead I had to work around that and still I won. It was skill, plain and simple. You are so far up your own ass with your idiotic delusions that you still believe that it was skill when it was You're luck. You're just mad that you lost control of literal godhood. You were so confident that you would keep that hand that I would never get it back, and right at the peak of your own arrogance, I swooped in and shattered that false reality and took back my God hand. There's nothing delusional about it. Holy shit, we're really getting into this, aren't we? I'll admit, tasting the power of having three wild cards definitely felt like godhood in that game of matching colors, but that changes nothing. It wasn't a skill that got your hand back, because that's all it is. You can't manipulate the deck to give you what you want, nor can you magically get the card you need. That's why it's luck. Because you drew that seven at the luckiest time, nothing more. Think what you want, Donnie. All right, I think we have had enough fun for one day. I say we call it here, guys. Maybe we could play again another time. But uh, on some other maps, I think it's safe to say that on this map, wild cards stacked together make you into a literal god, unless you got seven and zeros, of course. That wouldn't fix anything. Playing sevens and zeros just passes the god hand to another player making their chances of winning literally 100%. Oh, well, that's true. Sevens aside, I suppose zeros would do that. Well, I'm gonna get off. It was fun playing with you guys. See you next time. That was the most rigged fucking game I have ever had the misfortune of playing. So, Obama, you gonna say it or what? Nope, not a chance. See ya, chump. Of course, I knew he would scoot around that. Whatever, I'm gonna take a nap.